Time for a new quick painting. This time a scene from Stanley Kubrick's 1987 Vietnam War film, Full Metal Jacket. Okay, just as you watch me start to paint, um, I'm going to answer a question that I got about my setup. I like to do these paintings uh, in front of my computer screen purely on the basis of that's where my reference is. Um, instead of printing out reference or drawing things out and then going from my own sketches, it's just easier for these quick paintings to sit in front of a screen that's got a screen grab of the, the scene that I want to paint. Quite often when I gr take a screen grab, I will alter what's there. Um, I mean, for instance, uh, a, a, a film scene is usually much wider than the ratio that I'm painting in. Um, I'm painting on seven inches by five inches board. Um, so I quite often have to pick a scene that I like and crop it down. And sometimes you lose a bit of information, a bit of something that's good about that scene. So sometimes I have to move figures around or change things. But yeah, I basically sit um, at my computer desk with a collapsible um, A3 easel board and paint away. Okay, this is about 50 minutes in. Um, I've done this slightly different from how I normally do. Um, I would usually put a wash over the whole board, but in this scene there's two strong um, colour schemes. There's a dark grey blue scheme which takes up most of the picture, um, but there's also a lighter green scheme that's um, painted on the walls of the toilet block. So I just concentrated on getting um, the first part in, which is using Payne's grey, ultramarine and white. Um, I put in a base colour and then just added in um, darker tones and some uh, very light amount of light touches into it. I um, also took the chance to paint in um, Joker's trousers and a touch of his hat. I'm going to put in the rest of the base colours next and then work from there. Okay, you've heard me talking about colours there. Um, I find it a lot easier. It's not often the case, but uh, because you end up using lots of colours. Um, but it's a lot easier to do a quick paint that's got a limited amount of uh, colours in its palette. Um, you can see from this um, video that a large share of the painting is just done in three colours. And even when I do introduce other colours, it, it, they're very um, small. Uh, just placed in certain areas so like the yellow ochre is really just on those radiators and they, it gets covered up quite a bit anyway um, and the emerald green is used quite sparingly with the um, the Payne's grey and the ultramarine to make the green colour. Okay this is most of the background in now you can see I've put in uh, I've used emerald green with the Payne's grey and the ultramarine to put in the green colour scheme that's on the painted on the walls um, I've, mo everything's mostly blocked in. I've just got to uh, put in the figures a bit better now and then I can do a bit more detailing and everything and start putting in some highlights. Um, but it's coming out, it's getting there. And um, the only other colour that's been put in is on the radiators in the background, which I used a, a touch of yellow ochre. Um, I'm just going to wait for that to dry and then I'll use a lot of the paints grey to darken it all up. Um, but I think that's about 45 minutes again, so we're probably near about, it's probably about an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 40 minutes in total so far. So here we go, putting in the figures now. Um, just like the background, I'm not really worrying about detail on these figures. Um, as much as this scene has got two people in it, I'm not after likenesses. I'm not bothered if uh, I miss any sort of major information. I think working in this quick style, blocking things in, and especially this scene's got some great light in it. Um, you can see the sort of green, uh, the light going across the back wall there, and it goes across Joker's uh, top and just highlights the side of uh, Gomer Pyle. I think your brain adds in detail. Um, you can see me painting in Pyle's legs there, and it really is just two shades, and I've put it in quite quickly. I'm not worried about details of muscle shape. It's just the, it's just the light. Um, and like I say, I think your brain adds in those extra details. 
So when we're done, you see the figures are in now. Um, I've added in naphthol red into the color mixture. Um, I need to do a little bit of sorting out on the um, Joker's helmet. I'm just not quite happy with the shape of it at the back there. Um, just needs a bit more definition. Um, but um, I'm almost there. I, I'd like to just put in a few better highlights here and there. Um, I really don't want to try and spend any much more time on this. Um, so I reckon that's been about another half hour and I'll probably spend about 20 minutes, maybe slightly less, putting in some, just adding some darker tones here and there and adding some highlights in. So I'm not far off finished. Okay, this last bit is really um, just sorting out a few problems um, you can see me fixing the, the helmet and uh, I, I'm about to start painting on um, defining the foot and the leg um, it's just adding some extra darker tones around it again I'm not really adding any detail I'm just I'm just picking out points that your brain sees your eye sees when you're watching the film um, you're you're seeing the scene as a whole rather than paying any attention to any one particular thing and I think these small paintings and working um, to a deadline helps get that across. It's it's also great practice. So um, I love doing these and I hope you enjoy watching them. Okay, that's it finished now. I didn't have much more to do on it. Um, I put a bit of definition around um, Pyle's leg, sorted out a Joker's helmet and just added some more highlights. But that's it all done. If you've enjoyed watching me paint, give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. All of my art is available to buy, so check out my shop. And if you'd like to help keep me painting, you can support me on Patreon or throw me some cash at Buy Me A Coffee. You'll find links in the description box below. Thanks for watching.